to see how this works this time okay xcode build fit failed due to concurrent builds will retry in two seconds okay so it is running concurrent okay now we are able to see the output yes wow this i did not expect it actually it gave a very beautiful output in such a short time it generated such a beautiful application even i can't believe it so i suggest you people try using these particular tools and try creating such an application and you love using it so even when i look at this application right oh it is even working even the favorite options is working and i can't believe this like a such a beautiful application it generated <music>
make a lot of to and fro and in between even you might get confused like what you are getting and what you actually wanted to and yes this intro might sound a little bit a little bit lengthy but this is a first tutorial i mean i'm expecting for most of you regarding vibe coding so this is what the required information you need to know and that is why the reason i have generated the prompt with the help of a chat gpt here because this prompt will be of a very good quality even though we have a very good knowledge on what we require but we need to put that in form of a prompt right so there will be a separate thing called prompt engineering for this particular thing and we'll be dealing with a lot of these things like how to generate a proper prompt in a coming tutorials i will be surely try to guide you and for this tutorial just try to get started in this way and the next tool as i said is like cursor ai So this is the tool which I want to show you is Cursor AI and again here you can see this is a free version I am using it and we are just going into the project directory. Here you can see this is a Flutter Vibe which we have created in Android Studio and I have opened the project in the Cursor here. And here you have got some options like this is a project structure like toggle primary sidebar which shows you the project structure similar to that of Android Studio and here this one will provide you the terminal here is the ai pane here on the right hand side where you got the options like to provide input to the ai and again we do have like agent and ask mode so quickly i will try to explain you agent mode is nothing but when you provide a prompt like create an application or do something right it will automatically try to generate the code introduce the code run the code and find the errors and try to rectify the errors and all these tasks with your permission it will try to do and the ask mode is you will ask a question it will provide you some output like an answer and it's again your wish to pick the output and introduce in your code so based upon your requirement you can just go through any of these particular things so if you are not comfortable like ai introducing the code without your knowledge i suggest you to just go through the ask mode and if you are okay with agent mode then you can switch to the agent mode here and in the another tutorial i'll be clearly explaining you what are these two modes in detail but for now uh, we are just concentrating on the application generation right so here this is the auto mode i have selected if you don't want auto mode right you can select any specific model over here and if you are an experienced person then you will be having a good knowledge on what are all these models and what they can do but it is always better if you are starting just get started with the auto mode because it will only choose the best suitable model for you rather than you picking up the model because every model will have its own capabilities and as a beginner you can't try estimating them and also one more important thing i just want to specify this is the most important thing whatever the ai tool you are using right they won't come with unlimited request so you can't make unlimited request here you need to have a limited things i mean you need to have a limited questions you can ask to the ai model so that's why i made use of a chat gpt to generate this particular prompt and also Make sure you utilize this particular tool in a very proper way because you may complete all your available request options even though in a paid plan you will be you will be given some limit and you should not exhaust that limit in just trying to get started with the things so that is why i have selected the auto mode here and this is a free version we are using just make sure be careful when you are trying to deal with this particular tool because you may exhaust the limit without knowing even so here i am copying this particular prompt and i am trying to provide this particular prompt over here and there are lot of other options which i am just skipping for now like context and image all these things i will be explaining you in detail in a separate tutorial so now we have provided this particular prompt and let's try to send this prompt and wait what cursor will do with our code so here you can see this is a basic code which we have now and let's see what cursor will try to do with this particular code and here you can see in pubspec.yaml 
it is trying to add some code and four lines added it is showing us and just try to accept it so this is a very basic tutorial and we are learning right so we'll be accepting what are all the things it suggests to us and we'll try to concentrate on the final output in the meanwhile let me open the simulator and make the things ready and in the main dot dot here it had it added three not four lines of code and yes it is now asking us to install the dependencies by running it i said earlier right it will take the permission to run the things and here it had added all these particular dependencies and now it is trying to run the code okay perfect now test the application sure it works correctly but now let us try to see whether it will run on mac os like desktop application or ios simulator and it also generated some proper documentation here and also a readme file to document the application so this is again the most important thing when you are generating an enterprise level application you need to have a readme readme file all code is well commented and follows flutter best practices the application is production ready and can be easily customized for different apis or ui requirements okay now it is asking us to simply execute flutter pub get flutter run so these particular commands it is asking us to execute and even you can ask the cursor itself to do this but i just don't want to make one more request in this way so let us try to run it flutter pub get and uh, flutter run but i think flutter pub get is already done anyway it provided us so i have run it and flutter run i am doing this let's try to see yes on iphone 15 pro max it is trying to install it let's don't expect an error free application in the very first attempt itself try to expect there will be some errors yes we got some errors even here so i'll be providing this particular error here and ask cursor to fix it i see there is a build error with the card theme this is likely due to the version compatibility issue okay let's try to run this okay it is trying to analyze now analyzing flutter wipe so that's our project okay i see the issue the card constructor is not constant and there are some other issues let me fix it now let me fix the deprecated opacity you see it's okay so there is some deprecated code it seems it's trying to fix it in main dot dot here and now let's try to reanalyze four issues found it is saying one issue found so three are fixed i think and run so it, it might be a lengthy process for some time because we are not writing code manually right and it is showing build issues resolved now and uh, let's try to run it again flutter run and let's try to see whether this time okay it is showing launching running xcode build let's try to see how this works this time okay xcode build fa failed due to concurrent builds we'll retry in two seconds okay so it is running concurrent okay now we are able to see the output yes wow this i did not expect it actually it gave a very beautiful output in such a short time it generated such a beautiful application even i can't believe it so I suggest you people try using these particular tools and try creating such an application and you love using it. So even when I look at this application, right? Oh, it is even working. Even the favorite options is working. And I can't believe this. Like it's such a beautiful application it generated. Can we go inside? I have not specified any product detail page, but yes. 
you can see i have not specified any product detail page i wanted i said just create a product display page here and all these things i wanted i never specified a product detail page that's why it did till here only and that's it and also we got a refresh icon so it's very beautiful even i did not expected like we'll get such a good application in a very first attempt so that is why reason i have chosen the chat gpt here for generating the prompt again you can use any other ai tool which you are comfortable with it's not like chat gpt and also make sure we are using a free versions here that is what the thing i just want to highlight here because everyone needs to have the everyone should get a chance of using these particular things that's why i'm going with all the free tools here i just don't want to promote any paid tools or just want you to purchase anything so we are in the learning mode just try make use of free tools available here and there and let's try creating application and improve our knowledge so i hope you enjoyed this particular tutorial and for more such interesting tutorials stay subscribed to our channel and also i'll be providing the code for this particular tutorial yes we have not written the code it's all generated code but for your knowledge i just want to provide the code even for you to go through it so if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter